Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to enjoy the beauty on how to display sets on a number line. So this is strictly A-level mathematics, introduction to A-level mathematics, okay? So we have got this question here which is saying, you present the following subset, R, on the number line, okay? So we want to represent this on the number line. Very simple, okay? Let's enjoy it. So this is our number line. I'm drawing a number line, okay? Let's start it. Uh, it will start at negative five, going this side. So negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, going this side, okay? So we need to represent this on the number line, okay? So remember that negative five is this point here. It's the open interval because of this kind of a blanket. And then ne with negative two, with an open interval of negative two. So this is this part here, this part here. Then this part here is saying it's from positive two, the cross interval of positive two going this side. So if we had a four here, it would have been like this, right. okay? So by doing this, it means that we have just drawn these sets on the number line. But we can show them by shading. So we can shade them like this, okay? Even here we can shade like this. So it means that we have showed question A on the number line. Let's go to B. B, let me as well draw the number line. So it will start at negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this, okay? So we have got a cross interval of negative one and a cross interval of three. So a cross interval, okay, with a dot, negative one, the cross interval of what? Positive three. Thereafter, we have got the open interval, the open interval of what? Two, to the open interval of what? Six. This set here, this set is this one, this one, this set is this one like this. Okay. So now, what sign is here? What type of a sign is here? It's intersecting. So this simply means that we must only shade the intersecting part. The intersecting part. How can you know the intersecting part? The intersecting part, you are going to know it by by identifying the boundary on the number line where the two lines are crossing each other. Where the two lines are crossing each other. As you can see, this line is crossing this line, which is down here, starting at 2. Since this line is ending at 3, then the intersecting part will also end at 3. So this part, when you shade it like this, it is your intersecting part between these two set. So this is your answer. This is how you must shed it. Let's go to our last question there, which is negative. Which is the cross interval of negative 1 and the cross interval of 3. Union, the open interval of 2 and the 6. Okay. So what I'll do is, let me draw a number line from here. So this is a number line. Then we have got negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like this, okay? Of which this part here, it see the cross interval of negative 1 to what? To 3. And then this part here, it see the open interval, open interval of 2 to positive 6. So since it's a union, then we are going to combine everything. How can we combine everything? By just shading, by, by just shading the region under the lines. The region under the lines. So that is our answer. Very simple way of how to represent a set on a number line. And hope you have followed me step by step as I was explaining on to you. Thank you for watching this video.